Bobo Skeleton Newton. Welcome back to another episode, <laughs> or what is it? What's, What's good, good, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Good Influences. Uh, Matt King, Aaron Gilfoy, Carleen Contro, <laughs> Mike <Dogle> Shepper. <laughs> um, today we're going to be doing debates. Like debatable topics. Debatable topics. Debatable. A little more structured. State- statements. Um, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> Leave a like, leave a comment, uh, follow on the social accounts. It sounds and... like there's a gun to your head. Follow on the social <laughs> accounts. Yeah, let's just start. Uh, pro life or pro choice? <laughs> is, that, uh, is that it right out of the gate? Wait, which one? No. Which one is which? Pro life is you I, won't I know, kill the I, baby. I, oh, <laughs> okay. I literally was like, Mike. Uh, I don't Ooh. like that they call themselves pro life because they're that not. That is fucking the if biggest. If you're pro life, they're not. Then you should. <laughs> We're really talking about it. One hundred percent donate pro, your or make people donate their organs when they die too. It's that's pro for, forced birth. Were that's you guys is. ever no. pro like no. life? Like you were a kid and they were like told you what like. No. no, you didn't grow up with like conservative beliefs because your parents no. were watching Fox News, and then you realized, wait a minute, no, no. I'm going against. I never my own really interests. like thought about Me it. Neither. Really. It wasn't like a topic of conversation. Yeah. yeah. But oh, I would. Oh gosh, life. in Texas, they would. It was always being talked about. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they would even like stage us like debates in class to argue that. Whoa. And like the thing is, it's a very like serious, mature conversation yeah. to like have, but like. People would just take sides about it, and it was just like full on, like you were. We actually awful did do person. that. They made us do that in a debate once, but in New Jersey, it was not a hot topic issue. Mm-hmm. But like the person who had to argue anti-abortion, that like they just couldn't do it. It was just it was, the girl like didn't really do a good job of presenting a reason. Because the only way to defend it is like using the Bible, but you can't make a law based on the Bible. Uh, yeah, you can. This is America. <laughs> yeah, literally. In God we trust. <laughs> It's on our currency. It's the combination of church and state is what it says in the yeah. con- constitution con- conflipitution or whatever it's <laughs> I called. I watched too many debates on TikTok again. <laughs> um, oh, is that, we, let's not. We're not no, no. Yeah. We're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're stating our, do you want to take the opposite? State it on the record. Yes. yes I am pro-choice. And if I were So you just, like killing babies. No. <laughs> I yes. Think, here's the I, thing. Yes. If you want to prevent, <laughs> like, I feel like if it is your duty and your call to spread the word to encourage people not to kill their children you have every right to do that That's we harassment. should be educating people about all the different choices yeah that's why i'm pro-choice of all yeah. the things they could be doing with their baby i really don't want people to kill their baby but it's not killing their baby it it's is not my, when it's not my responsibility to say what any woman should be able to do with her body and i think it's ridiculous for anybody to claim and think that they have any sense of authority and power to make that call so but I feel like we should be doing everything we can to pre- to show people all the options well, that sex, they have. Well, sex, yeah, sex mm-hmm. education in America is fucking the like worst <laughs> in the world. We know nothing. They don't teach it in school. So, is it really the worst in the world? No, I'm making that up, but <laughs> uh, it probably is. Yeah. I saw someone. Maybe it was Ann Coulter or some like one of these fucking crazy oh, right wing women. Don't talk I... about Ann that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, she has like two really good takes progressive takes i won't say one of them but i think it was her and it said we should just make abortion illegal for republican women yeah that makes sense if if, if you're voting you believe, if you're, yeah. i mean it shouldn't be illegal for yeah. anyone it See, shouldn't that's what's crazy if you're what? voting for yeah. a, against abortions then you should not be able to get one yeah i don't know a lot of times you meet these people who are just like you know i'm i'm just pro-life i can't believe it i'm like have you ever had a friend who's had an abortion and most of the time people do oh yeah and, and they so want it and it's like the well that was di- that was different it's like yeah. no it's not the like, exception like, to the rule go talk Every to your time. friends who've had one like well i know it's such a private thing but people don't realize like how uh mm. that's not how common it is but yeah it's very common but <clears> people <throat> want to shut up about that time that there's just such a stigma on it and i think that a lot of the right doesn't understand that it's literally people get them done for medical reasons. Yeah, oh yeah, P- I well, like friends in Europe are like, dude, it looks like America is literally just They're dumb sliding dumbs. backwards into the yeah. dark ages. Yeah. Know, like Florida, yeah. fucking don't say gay, don't have a baby or whatever they would. have a baby, have a baby, have a baby. Okay, you can't what's not our... have Let's a baby. Let's go. Let's yeah. start the episode. Is right. peanut butter a <laughs> breakfast food? Yeah, peanut butter a breakfast. food food yes. yes no yes like, no what ingredient yes. what 
Bananas um, and peanut butter, toast and yeah, peanut butter. Yeah, uh, oatmeal. I put peanut butter. Yes. A bunch of stuff. Um, chia seed pudding. I'll no put to me, butter. that's immune. complimenting a breakfast food. But peanut butter itself. Well, yeah, is I'm not gonna eat a not... slab of peanut butter. But this no, is like. No. Yeah, I feel like peanut butter. I feel like it like wasn't clear. Protein. I think it's like a great little condiment to start the day with. But wait, well, I don't get what you're saying. Like, I think that peanut butter can be used with breakfast food. Yeah, but that's I what I feel. Yeah, but I don't think peanut butter is a breakfast food. Oh, like a jar of peanut butter? What? I what think are you it, talking? Like, what, like uh, yeah, it's confusing because like because peanut it, butter is a condiment. Well, it's like is uh, is granola a breakfast food? Like, well, it can be. <laughs> like, I no, I no, I think that peanut butter complements a breakfast food, but I don't think it's a breakfast food. I think that peanut butter is past noon food. Yeah, and you can use it, yeah. but in the category of where it goes in your pantry, it's not going with the breakfast food. Yeah. Mine's it should be near You're categorizing no. your the pantry based on the ingredients. breakfast, lunch, and dinner? No, I just wouldn't be like... <laughs> I think it is for me because I, I eat it almost every morning. So to, would that be a breakfast food then for me? If you think it's breakfast food, then yes. Yes. I think it goes in most of my breakfast. I would never think in the morning, let me get the peanut butter oh, out. Oh, see, I eat pe- Well, I don't eat peanut butter, but I eat like nut butters in the morning. In the morning. Yeah, like on a toast so you, or something. What is your argument? Yes, I'm very confused. I would still not consider it a breakfast food. But I also eat it, it in the afternoon. I eat it at night. I eat it at all times what's throughout a, the day. What's a breakfast food that you wouldn't eat like later eggs? in the day? Like eggs? Pancakes? No. No, I would eat that anytime too. What's like a breakfast an food? apple you can have for breakfast, lunch, yeah. but an apple at dinner yeah. is a little. What are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> but good like, point. Yeah, but like I would consider peanut butter. Like to me, it's like the staple. Like peanut butter and jelly, objectively the most famous form of peanut butter. Everyone knows it worldwide. That's not a breakfast. But what about jelly? We got jelly on toast in the, yeah. in the morning. Yeah. Jelly and peanut butter. I think you butter, can put I it think... on toast, but I don't. I wouldn't be like, this is. Can you give me an example of a breakfast food that's only for breakfast? Um, Well, like a pancake. Like bre- I think like that is like breakfast food. But then like you can English eat muffin? breakfast for dinner. Dude, yes. my mom had peanut butter on an English muffin for breakfast like oh. every day. I do that oh, too. Really oh, good. No, it's so yeah. weird. Dude, like, to me, it feels breakfast like breakfast because yes. I eat it yeah. so much. So I guess. Because you guys are from weird parts of the country. <laughs> yeah. I, I do mean, have snickerdoodle well, the, salad. The news, the news traveled a little slowly. Peanut butter at <laughs> breakfast? Sure. Yeah. Why not? No. I like I eat it at breakfast. Cereal. That's a breakfast food. Cereal yeah, I, I can eat throughout the day. Lox, like, say, like, yeah, I don't but you would think it's is... a breakfast food. Like you're like cereal is It's kind a of like a food. snack to me. Okay. Like I'll eat it at like 3 p.m. Chunky or smooth? Like, smooth. Smooth. I like Although chocolate. I hate the peanut butter that's like liquid at the top. Oh, oh like that's a, like natural. Yeah. That's like good. That, that. you mix it's like in oil and peanut. stuff. Well, I don't kind of, like it. That's what my dad used to eat down, the, the <laughs> like a bear on it. <laughs> Sorry, we had like two conversations yeah. going at once. You talking over me again? I actually was. I didn't even know you were talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's a dinner food? Steak. That you would not eat for breakfast. No, it's not Ooh, that I wouldn't eat eggs. It. It's just what you would consider it. Hmm. Like you'd be like, oh, oh this steak is, really hard. is a dinner food. Apple juice. <laughs> Stop. Breakfast. I love breakfast. apple like, juice. Orange I like... juice. Yeah, breakfast. breakfast. But you can drink it at other times. But like you consider that you would put a, breakfast a, food. a jug of apple juice on the dinner table when you have guests over. No. no. Apple juice is good either. I didn't say that. A- apple juice is good for breakfast <laughs> on an airplane and then not at dinner. But just a few hours right before bed. <laughs> so a bedtime dinner. Yeah, a, bedtime a little snack. night. A sleepy night time cap. apple juice. <laughs> you ever um, warm it up? What? Like a, a cider? cider? I'm not warming up Mott's apple juice. <laughs> I'm going to make my final statement on yeah. this. Yes. <laughs> no, I don't think peanut butter is a breakfast food because it's peanut butter. However, I really only use it in my breakfast. Yeah, I mean, it's whatever oh. you think it is. Yeah, but you were like... No, but, it's well, a condiment but, to your breakfast. Like, and yeah, but that's is, my but opinion. Like, and I we're know. debating. Oh god, this is so hard. I don't I have to sway move on to the next you. Yes, move on to the next one. It's a breakfast food for me. Yeah, but maybe not for other people. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the whole point. Okay, it's a breakfast yeah. food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you wet your toothbrush before or after you apply the toothpaste? There is one answer to this, and if you don't do it, you're a psychopath. I wet it before. Yes, that okay. is the correct oh, way I to do it. I wet it after. No, but what if you knock Carly, it off? Carly, what are you saying right <laughs> now? What do you mean? <laughs> Why that is that weird? Know. I wet it. I wet it. You gotta after get the base wet. I wet it after. It I does put get it wet. On, 
But yeah, it, it stays gets it wet. on. It's not like it's, the toothpaste falls You know what it does? Off. It sinks in the toothpaste no, more, and yes. it makes the whole thing wet. Yes. <laughs> you take a dry toothbrush. <laughs> Take the toothpaste onto a dry, like hard yeah, and I, I hear nothing wrong so far. Continue. And then <laughs> you put water on top of that, like a sandwich. Like a sandwich? It's not. <laughs> I like staying, the point you're making. This is staying insane. On top. You, the whole point of the toothbrush is to be soft. Because when you brush your teeth, it, it is soft. I don't even know what I do. I switch it <laughs> up. I do too. I honestly I think I do. It it honestly, sometimes I do it before and after. Like I don't really think about it. Yeah. Okay, but before and after. Sometimes is more I don't even wet it. I can raw. Water. I can raw dog it. <laughs> no. Okay, that I. Well, Mike, your your toothbrush happens. Mike, you need to come therapy. over, and I'm gonna show you my how dis wet my toothbrush is after I wet it. Yeah, I wet it. Yeah. Like I, I don't it. understand the problem here. Literally, First it's all, no when different. When you turn the faucet on, doesn't it just knock the little pee off of the like? The no, wheel? because it's on really small. It just gets oh, it wet. Oh, I put a shit ton on. Oh, I only put like. And then the a water doesn't bit. knock it into the sink. No, no, it pushes it into the toothbrush, and then technically you get a better cleaning because it's all who, in the who all do in the we brush. Have a podcast with? Are y'all going full blast on it? I just get no, it like what? a little. I, I get a little. I let faucet. it run under the, yeah, the water for like a minute and a half. I was like, what? Yeah, I, know. I give it a good rinse because like yeah. it's just been sitting there in the bathroom all night. I give it a good rinse. I like flip it over, turn it on. Well, I use my bidet like to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I that is it. Oh, man. Okay, do you use cold water or hot water to brush your teeth? Cold. Who gives a shit? Hot? No, Wait. we're not using hot water. Hot? But like cold. It just Wait, I think warm, Nolan uses hot water. now that no. I think about warm. it. Like, Ew. I just turn it on <laughs> and give get water on it. No, you have to turn the cold water on. Yeah. She just said Nolan uses hot water. I, I think. Because usually like I'll go in after him <laughs> and the water is tea kettle warm. and on his way to the bathroom in a robe. I'll be right back. <laughs> I think you're actually supposed to be brushing your teeth with warm That's water. That's so weird. No, uh, warm water is is just wrong. It no. feels weird. Yeah. Yeah. But it's Thinking of for... it in my mouth. Sometimes if like I yeah. am brushing my teeth, our hot water heater's like fucked up. So we have to this is so bad. We have to let the oh, hot water let it run. run to like get it warm so that i can wash my face and sometimes i'll like turn it off after, but while i'm still brushing and then i'll go to turn it back on and then in between and i accidentally turn on the hot one and then i run it under and then like rinse my mouth out and i'm like oh yeah yeah see that's what happens to me because nolan just uses the restroom so that's why i think that he uses hot water to brush his teeth so i'll go in there turn on the cold but it's still hot and i'm like what the or like Whoa. if you're on vacation somewhere in a hot destination and you're like staying in the by the beach and the, there's just no cold water because it's 90 degrees out and you have to brush your teeth it's all wrong hot water no no do you guys do coke uh oil oil pulling no what the coke fuck is that? pulling coconut coconut you, oil pulling so what i coke? do is <laughs> well, i do it right before I, I get in the shower because then i'll brush my teeth after i take a shower but then i'll i take like a huge spoonful of coconut oil and i just rub it all around oh. like in my teeth in my what mouth what does that do but I do it for like two or three minutes while I'm like taking a shower. Um, by the coconut oil, it takes off like a lot of uh, just gets a lot. It cleans up your mouth, like your teeth and your oh. nooks and the crannies and a lot of like oh. staining. It keeps it like really great environment. A lot unlocked. of dentists recommend it a lot. But yeah, oil pulling. Is it like a weird sensation in your mouth? So, like, it feels like a lot of saliva and a lot of spit, but it's like coconut oil. And like, I just like it. It feels like and after you do it, and you like feel your teeth um, it feels like you just went to the dentist oh. like it's super maybe also doing that instead of going to the dentist yeah no still go to the dentist <laughs> i need a call dr poon I okay do too. while we're on the topic of hot versus cold maybe a little gross wiping cold water or hot water huh? your butt cold wiping oh no wait do you guys wiping? dry wipe no, no, I have a bidet. Bidets. Oh, I use bidets. Okay. And I use then a wet wipe after. Oh, wait, you wet toilet paper? Yeah. Okay. Huh? Well, I use, I use wait, wipes. Back but... in the poopy water? <laughs> no. <laughs> in the sink. It's not an animal. Back in the poopy water. Wait, do you have to like stand up? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, I've never. You should just you get a little bit stand bidet. up and like walk you're like, over to the sink. Wait, I know exactly how your bathroom works. You're going on that toilet, and then you're looking at yourself in the mirror going like, <laughs> do you walk backwards, or do you turn back around? I you got to like get good. it tushy. Well, no, I, yeah. I, I, use, I use wipes now, but oh, like okay. if I'm in a place where there's no wipes, you have to use 
You have to wet the paper towel. Yeah, I mean, how do you I respect get there that, actually. In like a stall. How would it, you get dude, there? If it's, like, oh, yeah. if it's like a public restroom. <laughs> get it wet before. I, no, I like check to see if there's anyone out. And I like, no, I, uh, you don't. You're lying. You're not you're, doing that no, here. You, you son of a bitch. No, no I, don't, I, don't, I don't go here. Like with your pants down, you'll walk out. <laughs> no, you will Stop. not. He's hamming it up. <laughs> Are you? I've done it before. Oh my oh god. god. Man, you can't do it at like an airport, but if you're like at like a, <laughs> you know, like in a hotel an lobby. Airport. No, an airport. those hotel lobbies don't even have like doors <laughs> to the bathroom. He just That's like at the mall. Crazy. I've never, I've, I've Has ne anyone walked in never, on you? Never, never been caught. I'm, I'm good about being covert about it. <gasps> oh my god. That's so funny. Uh, okay. I would say the better option is to maybe just start carrying like little wipes with you. So no, I like, I like to wipes. get my heart rate up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like adrenaline rush. Yeah. Get some dude wipes. That is so funny. But cold water if you do need to, you know, wet something. Yeah, it's got to be cold. I do wish it was like a little warmer because sometimes when the tushy just like gets right there, you're like, oh, burn. Ooh, I know. I've never used the bidet before. Well, I think what? it's maybe time to invest. <laughs> yeah, I've never used one. It's I feel like it's a little more sanitary, yours. too. Yeah. It is, because it's like, I forget what everyone says. But it's like, if you got poop on your hand, would you just wipe it off? Yeah. No, go I know. No, I mean crazy. then wetting a paper towel. And, and then you're getting all like that, like the... The crusty. The filaments. The crusties on yeah. your butt. The paper, I bet like if you're wetting a paper, a toilet paper and you're wiping your butt, I bet you're getting toilet paper no, on your butt. No, if you do it dry, that's when it's getting... How long? No, both. How long are you... Bidaying it, a couple seconds depends on how, what kind of day. I'm because having. like I swear to God, I I'll have it on for ten seconds and I wipe and there's still stuff there, and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Are you really like getting it up in you? I'm pretty sure it's like going up my butthole. You're like doing a uh, what's it called? Colonic, kind of. Oh yeah, colon cleanse. A colon a cleanse. I, I was just wondering because I feel An like enema. it takes forever, and like I I'll sit there and like yesterday I even was like do I'm gonna do this for hair down there hot minute no. I was like, I'm gonna do this for a hot minute. I was just sitting there, <laughs> sitting there, sitting there, wipe, still stuff what on the thing. What kind of poop was it? It's like you're wiping a it's marker. Like a regular, like, mm, I don't know. Let me try some Metamucil. <laughs> I guess. That's so, TJ's dad had to drink that and it looked- God, fucking Adam drinks Metamucil first thing in the morning. What is it? Like, I do it like every three days. What is really? it? Dude, that shit is so- It's like a fiber what you, what thing. You it's like oh. so gross. What are you talking about? Well, no, about? like the it's way like, that they package- It just looks like a little old man drink. Yeah. The like orange and container. There, it, that shit has all like the cancer causing shit and it's got like <laughs> yellow, lake five, blue, whatever. It's got all the cancer causing colors and aspartame. It, it, Metamucil is not good. So just just take like um, I think it's Miralax. It's a good- dose of fiber then amusal causes cancer i mean it, it has like all those ingredients that are banned in europe that are like not food stuff that isn't i mean it's in a lot of foods Son in the u.s Aaron, the botox is so really? almost yeah when you okay. don't move your eyebrows it's like very apparent that you have like it's like uh. oh wait what it's more ah. Cool. Okay. Shower. Okay. Oh, shampoo first or body soap first? Oh. In the shower. Shampoo. Body wash. Shampoo, really? Shampoo. What do you do when you condition? Just stand there? Condition. Um, I don't really leave it in for very long. I don't honestly I don't even condition my hair sometimes because it's so short. <laughs> it's like mm. what do I do is I shampoo I shampoo, then condition, but leave the conditioner <clears throat> in my hair, then wash my face. And then wash my body, this and then rinse the condi well. and then rinse yeah. the conditioner. Because you need like He's... an activity to do while you're conditioning. conditioning yeah. yeah. Oh, I've see, never... I have TikTok live on usually, so I'm just watching it. TikTok in live the in the shower. Jesus, like you're like you need an you're intervention. Like a smoker, like, TikTok in a shower. live. <laughs> That's like how you watching. Well, I, or it's like a podcast or something. Not always TikTok, but like you find a live worth <laughs> watching. But yeah. Is that addicting? Like, um, I wouldn't say it's addicting. It's just like I need my mind preoccupied with something. Usually, it's a podcast. That's equivalent to smoking a cigarette in, in, the, shower. in the shower yeah except i'm is not getting you... cancer and strokes but you're like <laughs> the 5g in your brain no it's stuck no i have the octo buddy just sticks and it just sticks on the shower it's just sticks. guys it's literally no different than having like a boom box in your shower when we were kids and just uh, listening to stuff screen. TikTok live are you commenting <laughs> hi from the shower <laughs> <laughs> maybe i up, am <laughs> maybe i'm going live i don't know yeah <laughs> a tick i think a it's a scroll. little different i've never thought about like being on my phone in do the you, shower do you ever just like Put the put stick it up and just scroll through TikTok while you're in the <laughs> no, shower. No. Just get 
No, but I saw something really insane. Well, it's not insane. I think it's like the act of bringing your phone into the shower. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, I do that. Nolan does it too, like for music. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I, I, I feel like a... that's like different than watching a TikTok live. I just have a okay, Google well, home. it's just who I am. Yeah. Aaron, your hair is a little... Uh... It's on purpose. Okay. Oh. Is it? No. Yeah, it's like just, bright blue. Just, just pat it down a little bit. You got a little bit of static. There you go. Yeah. Honestly, I'm just too Gen Z for this podcast. Uh, wait a minute. Tell yourself whatever you need. What's this conditioner are you guys I, I are all talking about? What do you mean? I've, I've never used conditioner. I don't think my entire he needs life. conditioner. You're using maybe no, he should. You have yeah. you should be curly using hair. less shampoo and condition occasionally too. I've just never bought it. In do my... you shampoo your hair every day? You're no. a two in one okay. guy, right? I was gonna say, do you have a no, two in one? No, no, I have like really good shampoo. What, what's the brand? I, I don't Garnier know. Like some, lime's <laughs> lion's mane. Uh, no, it's like some like blue bottle. That's like or, Orbe. Salsam blue. No. Well, Orbe. Where do you so buy good. it? Moroccan oil. That's what it is. Oh. And it's just shampoo. Yeah. No conditioner. Never used it in my life. And people are like, "Oh yeah, you leave it in." I'm like, "What are you? What are you talking about?" Yeah. A conditioner. You can, is Google, you, you can Google all this stuff. Do you condition your eyebrows? <laughs> no. I put castor oh. oil sometimes do on you? them. Do you? No. <laughs> I used to do body first and then shampoo because that seems whatever. It just seemed normal. But then my friend was like, no, you got to do the shampoo first because then after you rinse it all out, you don't want to rinse it all out on a clean body. Then you you go from the top down, like when you clean your house. Mine smells so good, though. Like I want it on my body. You don't even use conditioner. I don't. (laughs) We can't even have a conversation. I can't even. I'm going to get you some conditioner. Do you wash your legs? Yes. Oh, yes. I have a loofah. For, I do too. It as helps. a kid, never really washed my legs at I all. I don't think now it's that necessary. Loofah. I never used a I'm loofah. Half and half. Yeah. Loofah's the best. I didn't use a loofah until like my 20s. Same. I just got one for the first time I, like, like a month I ago. Like, Whoa. Whoa. I was just. Yeah. They're so fun. When you were growing up, did your family have just like one bar of like Irish Spring yes. soap and that's what the whole family dove. used? Yeah, Dove. dove. I had one in my bathroom. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. He's but like I, a vino. The thing with washing your legs, though, is like, I feel like it, you don't really need to because all the soap's yeah, going to go yeah. down anyway. Like, you're clean. Yeah, but it's like dirty I got soap. long legs. I got a lot of surface area I need to cover. <laughs> to cover? Okay, yeah. we only done one. It's been 25 minutes. Yeah. No, we've done, we've a, done a couple. We did abortion. We, ha- we do have a couple. <laughs> we di- did. Uh, um, we do have a couple different shower themed yeah. ones. Yeah, okay, true. Oh, d- d- okay, so while we're on the shower yeah. still, is a night shower or a morning shower better? Depends on the day. Well, okay, there's That's a bit I'm... of controversy about this because if you go, if you shower in the morning, that means you're going to bed dirty and then you're getting in your bed dirty. And then your your bed is your nest. It's mm-hmm. where you're spending eight hours of your time in this one area. I shower, though, like midday after I work out. That's just, and then I go to bed whenever. Mm-hmm. But... I think if your job, if you have to get up early for your job, I think you should be taking a shower at night because... Wash the day off you. Yeah. But some people think a shower bed. wakes them up, so... Yeah. I'm a morning showerer. I'm both. I do both. I do like, like, last night I took a full shower before bed. It just feels so good. Like, I just, like, clean, w- wet hair. No. I'm oh, not well, about to blow dry my hair before bed. Oh, yeah. Also, That's like, I mean, yeah. if you're tired, then getting into a shower, it's, yeah. it's like hyper-simulating, and then you're not tired anymore. Yes. And you just woke yourself up with a shower, and it's like... Oh, I it's... love getting it, like, being clean, and I get in my pajamas. Yeah, that's the best feel. Like, I don't shower at night too often, but, like, when I do, I'm like, this is nice. Clean sheets are the best. You so, do a yeah. shower-clean sheets combo. Oh, for, and you don't get this, but like freshly shaped legs no, in the clean I've sheets. Heard, I've heard about Ooh, that. Really like, good. It just oh, feels like you're feels a fucking your princess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and you're just like rubbing all over. Oh, that's the best. Yeah, I and you're like, I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> so exciting. The worst, though, is the duvet cover. What Cha- do you mean? Changing like a duvet putting it on. Cover. Yeah, it it's annoying. I think it's pretty easy. I never curse How do you do it? more times per second than when I'm putting my Do you do the roll thing? No. Oh. What? Let's have a cleaning lady. Come I have a good it. little trick. Oh, yeah. Just let me go to my money tree and just start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. Wait, I how do you like... do it? How do I do my duvet cover? Yeah. Have you ever seen Barbarian? Yes. I, it's not how it doesn't work like that. So you need some teamwork. Wait, what do they how do they do in Barbarian? I forget. Remember, he like he turns it inside out oh, that's and what then I he do. Like, turns he... into a ghost and he's like, oh, you just got to pinch the corners. And then oh. she gives him the corners. But you need another person for that. Yeah. Mm, I... I've done it by myself. 
Uh, I have to like crawl inside of it. Like it's like a <laughs> fort and like shove the one corner in and then shove the other corner in and then get back out and then like flop it and then it like gets messed up. It just Look takes a TikTok. There's it's so many really little That's where I got a hack and it's so good. Yeah. I Mine it. literally takes one minute. Yeah. What is what do you do? I do that. Did, I how I never put it on I have it inside out mm -hmm. and then I tie the two bake corners cover inside out. Yeah, you yes. lay it inside and out on I your bed. Then I tie the two corners. This is what he's then doing. I put my hands in and then just flip it out. Yes. It literally takes 30 seconds. It's not too bad. Or like what I do is like roll it and then it just like flips basically. Huh? That one takes yeah. longer though. Your your bed is also massive. Yeah, I have a and, king size bed too. So it's I it's too. your room. I don't feel like you have enough like area to do it. You could just stand there. Just put the duvet on the bed. Yeah, I think you can do it, Mike. <clears throat> we'll come try over it. and show you. Yeah, try it next time. It it's... is one of my least. It's so funny you're crawling in like a horse. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> do you have the little ties too? Yeah, yeah. And, and I, but I just give up because I'm just like I'm not <laughs> fucking tied. It's not gonna because oh I've God, done that once. So easy. Where I tied it and it was like the wrong way. <laughs> like I yeah. tied the wrong corner to the wrong corner, and then I was like, <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, and then I just stopped. Ugh. I think about Brooke, uh, Brooke Averick's TikTok where she's it's like a time lapse of her doing her duvet and the text on screen says i'll be unavailable for the next four to six business days because i have to put my duvet <laughs> yeah. cover back on that is me every time i put my duvet cover on we'll teach you yeah we we, we can do that really guys we'll make yeah. your life easier i got a, i just ordered a box spring because my bed is really low and i feel like if it's higher up it'll make it easier to like make the bed and stuff yeah oh. maybe since it's higher up <laughs> <laughs> well, you bought a box. Your bed is like perfect where it's at. No, I, I kind of, it's a little low. I like a higher your up bed. Your ceilings are low. You step down into your room. Yeah. That means like. It's still the same height. It's not the same height. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Right. It'll look more luxurious. Because I always think in like when you get into a hotel, the best is where you can like pop up and sit on the bed and you're like high up. I love that. Yeah. Don't fall off. Don't roll <laughs> yeah. off. Princess in the pee. <laughs> huh? I always had a bar. You don't know the princess in a pee? You don't know about the princess and the pea. Are you guys making something up? No. no. But the princess who had it stick on know? the mattresses and she could still. Are you fucking Wait, kidding what? me? Wait, what? <laughs> princess and the pea. You've never even heard that expression? Like the letter P or P E A? P E A. Like a. Pea. Like a, like a she I've lived in a pea? Peas no, in a pod. No, she was a princess in her bed. You can tell it. What is the moral of the story, though? I feel like I was asking. It feels about like this I know you're probably not, but it feels like you're making it. I'm like, what is it? Yeah, she's is a it? princess. Yeah. And she said that she still wasn't comfortable and they kept bringing her mattresses. mattress after mattress after mattress after mattress. And it was stacked all the way up to like, like <laughs> the. So high. The height of the castle, all the way. And then they l finally looked under the mat, the first mattress, and there was a little pee. P. Oh. And what never was the heard moral of, of the story? Mm hmm. I don't know. I There's think it no was moral. just like look to the root of the problem. The princess yeah. of the pea. Nip it in the uh, princess and the pea. Great story, guys. I can't believe. <laughs> yeah, never heard that one. That's a weird one. Okay. Oh, the moral is that the story. Okay, sorry. The princess and the pea is a fairy tale that warns the reader about the dangers of jumping to conclusions without <laughs> all the facts. This is shown through the old queen who does not believe the princess. All right, we can move on. I hit my bad, guys. We're... Okay, when you're putting on your socks and shoes, do we do sock, shoe, sock, shoe, or sock, sock, shoe, shoe? No one's doing sock, shoe, sock, shoe. <laughs> I think there are people doing it, like businessmen I picture are doing sock, sock shoe. Sock, shoe, so they're fully one, and then this is just toes out? Yeah, I think. No I chance. I think there's definitely people, not me, mainly because like I'm putting my socks on in my house and then I put my shoes on when I leave. Like I'm not walking around in my shoes. Do your shoe you don't so you don't go around your house in your shoes? No. Sometimes no. depending on what needs to be done, I need to have my shoes on to feel like I can <laughs> have some house shoes. Take it on. Because sometimes you're walking around and you like step on something and you're yeah, just like, like oh, shit. You should get some house shoes. Like what? Like what okay, what is like a house like shoe? Crocs Crocs or like yeah, like, a sandal. like slippers or you something. You can even like even get a pair of those but just uh, yeah, but make I'm going them up your big house stairs shoes. every day. Yeah, like, so get a pair of Sneakers and make them your house. These sneaker. are like my house shoes. Yeah, but you wear them outside, so that they're is, not your house shoe. That is one thing I would like when I would ever get my own place is like a no shoe, no shoes in the house rule. I feel like yeah. it makes your place so much cleaner. Depends yeah, yeah. on Disgusting. the surfaces. No, either way, Any you're surface. bringing so much germs and stuff from the streets. True. I saw a TikTok that was like in the same way people thought it was good to like it was a fine to smoke cigarettes in hotels and or in your in your hospital room or in your home. 
the same thing is like we're gonna look at people who walked outside with outside shoes in the house as like how unsanitary it is yeah especially if it's carpet i feel like then it's, it's like disgusting and i remember growing up too like anytime if there was a person whose house we went to and there were like no shoes in the house it was always the fucking cleanest house in the world yeah yeah, yeah. like no shoes why it is insane you go to like newark airport and then you just go into yeah. your fucking bedroom. Yeah. Like, at what? Yeah, I know. Hollywood or, yeah, Boulevard. people who put, like, their luggage on, on their, their bed. bed. Oh, uh, my God. No, 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 no. Luggage Did has to stay on the floor. So disgusting. But, but On Vanderpump Rules, they were all packing for a trip, and every single one of them put their bag on their bed. I was like, guys. When I, I discovered those laundry, the, 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 I used to think that they were for laundry, but in the hotel rooms where there's, like, that little folding yeah. thing, I always thought it was to hang clothes. And no, it's like, for no, your luggage. I, it is my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> I've never even noticed those. There's, like, what? a little metal thing that, like, looks like it would be for laundry, and you just kind of unfold assumed. it, and it's got, like, like uh, little straps across yeah. it, and it's a perfect perfect size for a carry-on suitcase and it's like the perfect height oh, too oh my gosh that's not for room service no it's for oh your it's God. for your luggage and then that's how you like live out of the luggage it's not on the floor oh dude my. i know what it's the best yeah it's I a know big, exactly what you're talking yeah, about yeah you put your luggage on there and then your luggage is like you can just be standing up and take what you need put it in the drawers i it's can't the, wait to tell patricia about this yeah. i don't even I think she knows that. that no one knew this <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it's very well known. Who? I think it's like in the 50s, like parents knew, but then, you know, that hmm. some along the line would just lose that. But yeah, Shit. the little metal thing. And so like so, like when I would go, you know, if you're sharing a room with someone, I'm always like, I call the I call the thing. <laughs> I call the thing. <laughs> the luggage thing. The thing. Because if you get that, you're fucking made in the chain. <laughs> you got to see the other person like on the floor. Just like, on the oh, yeah, floor, that's me. I'm just like, like hmm? Hmm? easy. <laughs> I need to ask my uncle today. We're in the middle of a show, brother. Sorry. Oh, I off. need to call my uncle real quick. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> well, because if never mind. Um, okay. Yeah, no, I can talk. I'm <laughs> Stop, I'm sorry. No, I'm doing literally nothing right now. I'm sorry. One second. That's one of my favorite bits. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not doing anything. Oh, okay. How, it, what's the correct way to split a dinner bill? Divide oh. evenly or pay for what you ordered? Oh. It depends. Okay. I think it depends. Normally, I feel like just split. Are you saying on a date or with friends? Like with friends. Like a group of people? <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> oh, my. I mean, it's tough because it's like, imagine I wasn't hungry and I just like came and I had a salad, but everyone else got like three drinks and like all this stuff. But it's like at the same time, like maybe I should just expect to split. I don't, I don't know. Okay. I really don't know. If like I went to like home state with like you and Adam, but like you guys didn't drink, and I if I had like three margaritas, yeah, I'm not gonna make you guys pay for my margaritas. Yeah, I think there's like yeah, like there's in situations etiquette. like that, it's like okay, I'll t take care of the tip. It fluctuates. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you got three margaritas and me and Adam got a taco each, yeah, you'd be like whoa, whoa, whoa. And I also feel like it's on just anyone's sense. If you are the person who's consuming the most or understands that there is a disparity into what someone else paid, it is. I think you need to be like, oh, yeah. You don't need to pay for all of that. Yeah, it's but if you go for the person who paid the least for them to be like, um, but if you go I... to like a ramen spot and you eat like what we did the other night, where like me, you, and Adam, me and Adam got appetizers, ramen, and you got like one little thing, Jenny a bun and a beer. Yeah, it's like don't even worry about it. Yeah, because we went to get the meal and we're happy to have you as company. But if three people go to a meal and they all get a hamburger and fries, then like, but like just... one person got a coke and one person got avocado extra. Okay. Well, so that's one fifty for me, and then three ninety nine for it's like just say split you're it. out though with ten people. Ten people. That's why I don't do group dinners. I hate it. I hate it. I not it's because kind of, of the money. It's just all of it. Yeah, and dude, I don't like go, it. Try going to a ten person dinner with ten Jews. <laughs> oh God, dude, it is. Are you guys like looking at the bill? Like... I don't really care. But when I was like in college and I was doing that, and we would have like our one or two friends that weren't Jewish, it was like get the calculators out oh my God. they will it is to the fucking penny and oh. you're just like guys it doesn't matter let's just all split it but no you had two drinks i only had one so i'm not paying seven dollars for your drink and you're just like oh my but God. 10 people i can kind of get a little it's a, it's a, it's a little scary I think really if you're in college if you are like much younger 
I yeah. think that's when you need to be like, guys, can we just make sure like this all adds up? As yeah, like I guess group, when you're sure. in college, you don't have as, as much money. As the older you get, I feel like you really need to loosen that side yes. of your personality yes. yeah. to be like, let's just all split it. Yes. If it's coming down to like 10, 15 bucks on like it's a It's not going to make or break your life. Who cares? Yes. Yeah. You should financially be in a secure place where those little type of things don't bother you. But if you're younger, I'd yeah, say it's okay that's to be a little when bit more. When you're in college, it's you know yeah. $20 that you... Like, if you don't want to pay $20 extra for your friend to have three margaritas when you're in college. No. But now, I get, like, a 10-person... The worst is if you go to a 10-person dinner and you don't really eat anything. And, like, you get, like, a drink. But then they're like, well, there was 10 of us, and it was her birthday, so... That's why I'm like, I mean, I, that's I would like, just no. pay. <laughs> you would? Yeah. Even, I mean, I would pay, but I would just feel shitty. Like, Yeah, it would kind of suck, but I'm also, like, going for the, the experience. Occasion. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's like, okay, point. whatever, like... It is what it is. Yeah. But, like, I couldn't imagine sitting there. Say that, it, like, you did eat, but, like, you noticed, like, a friend ordered, like, two more drinks than you. Like, I would never be like, well, they got two more drinks. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, no. D -d 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 -d. Doing that, like, two drinks, you got sure. the $12 burger, you got yes. the $16 burger, and big whoop. But I if can't it's, be like, bothered. if it's a brunch and everyone's eating brunch and you, like, if I just got a water... <clears throat> Then why are you going to brunch if you're just gonna get <laughs> well, a water? You're supposed to be like sober. Or yeah, something. I, I, like I got a last minute invite. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Yeah, but I think I... like as long as you have like a other people too have a good awareness of like oh well he obviously yes. wasn't drinking for yeah. X Y reason you like you don't pay for it. this yeah. yeah. I think mostly just splitting it evenly is fine unless there's like something crazy like yeah. Remember the one of the first times with Patricia. She came to like that ten person brunch we went to and I made her play credit card roulette and it landed on her and she had like a fucking. Oh. Yeah, but we were joking. I mean, we were her. joking, but that was fun. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was it was like the fir my first time meeting Patricia. She came to like we had like a brunch with like ten friends, and at yeah. the end it was like a huge bill. And I was like, Patricia, you're gonna put your card down. We'll play credit card roulette, and it landed on her. And she was like, Uh, and I was like, We're just kidding. We're Dude, just kidding. David did that to me on Rodeo I, Drive. I was Remember there, that yeah. time? <laughs> oh my god! Did you have to pay? It was, yeah. Well, it was all of us. We were like, Let's do it. It was like fifteen, sixteen hundred bucks. And it landed on yours. I think, oh, I I'm was there. I'm pretty sure David paid me back. I'm he, pretty yeah. sure he did. Or I just knew years later we like brought that memory back up and he was like, I paid you back, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> he was like worried. It was a lot. It was yeah. a lot of money. And like And we went to Vegas that night. We went to Vegas like right after. Do you oh, remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I do remember the red roulette though. Yeah. That was rough. Okay, hmm. what's our next debate topic? Hardcover or paperback? Okay. For books. Oh, that's a great one. <laughs> it depends on your budget. If the, <laughs> well, here's the, the really hard um, hardcover. I think you should always buy it if it's like reasonably priced. Don't spend more money just because it's a hardcover book. But I think a hardcover book I think is better to own over time and looks better on a shelf than a paperback. I do like the prestige of a hardcover book, but practically speaking when you want to travel or like yeah. read in your yard or whatever it's just it's so bulky and it's, it's so like your, heavy. your arms get tired and it's like ugh, i'm team paper what is this, yeah, me too. Fucking bible but like mel brooks's the biography is in hardcover and i'm so happy it feel it made it feel more substantial like i feel like i'm reading something important just like holding it with your arms and like not being able to like bend it around <laughs> yeah i know i like to bend you oh. bend it around no. yeah, so if i'm like laying down mm -hmm. Sure. No, I try and treat like... books so gently. I, I like. Well, I'm reading Colleen Hoover. Oh, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah like... you don't, the thing is, you don't need Colleen Hoover in like hardcover. Hard yeah. Hard well, book. yeah. I'm reading Sorry, Colleen. Yeah. But I did like some books when they come out. Like they only come out in hardcover, and it. I'm like pissed. Off. I know. I'm, like, I, don't I don't like want it. A fucking hardcover book. Well, that's yeah. But that's, that's like the beauty bigger... is you got access to it at hardcover. Like I, I guess I don't know the politics about it. I don't care about it. The hardcover is yeah. It's the more expensive. It's the first edition and it's like just more prestigious to have the hardcover version i'm trying to compare it to like another type of object it's like buying this instead of this you know uh that's like yeah i don't know what the, what a good analogy is for hardcover versus soft cover books paperback a hard penis okay in a soft <laughs> penis. <laughs> i guess Depends it's like what's a blu-ray and a dvd or i don't know like there's something the hard. I just think, don't spend. I like having both sometimes. Mm. You have the heart like one to rock, one to stock. You know. 
Yeah, I think mm. I do have a few of those. I think I mostly own hard. Okay, books. if you're giving a gift and you give you gift someone a paperback, that's kind of weak. I'm not gifting anyone a book. You never gifted someone a book? I, I actually did, but as a joke. What was the book? The Elon Musk book. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fucking joke. It was it was like a gag gift. But like I would feel weird giving someone a paperback book as a gift. Oh, I wouldn't even think about it, Maybe to be are. honest. I think I don't know the hierarchy. I didn't know, like, like I think the hard... reason we like paperback is not you're the reading, same reason why shitty. you like hardcover. Yeah. Like, to you, it's like a sentimental, like, piece of art that you can have and hold forever and, like, yeah. cherish. And it's for like us, it's just like, object. this is the way we like to read it. Yeah. And, like, how it feels in our hands. That's what I like. Well, and when then you're reading process. junk, I guess it doesn't really... Just okay, quick, God. quick fiction. Just some popcorn. Oh, God. <laughs> I read Low some nonfiction brow. paperbacks. What? Um, the Bible. The uh, what's it called? The Hot Zone, which is about the Ebola virus. You read a book about the Ebola I virus. Did. This was like her first book. It was back my into first reading. book so I read funny. ever. And then Henrietta Lacks. What's that? Henrietta Lacks. You don't know about Henrietta Lacks? She was like the woman who she had her cells basically. Yeah, she had ovarian uh, cancer, yeah. and she was a black woman. And without her knowledge, they took her cells to like do testing on them. And basically because of her cells, we now have back like a lot of like COVID vaccine, even like a lot of vaccines, a lot of oh, wow. treatments, but they never compensated her or her family. So her kids are still alive mm. and they're like, why didn't we get compensated? Like this has been such an epic yeah, the thing government in... taking advantage of black people. You don't say. I know. I was like, what is Crazy. this? Yeah. Who would have thunk it? It's really good. There's a movie too now. What's her name? Henrietta Lacks. Henrietta Oprah Winfrey Lacks. plays her. Yeah, Oprah plays her. The Immortal her. Life of Henrietta Lacks. Is yeah. Oprah Winfrey called. is an actress? Dude, she was in The Color Purple. Are you kidding me? I've never seen that. <laughs> Are you telling we me? The passion. Oh, Oprah Winfrey? She's a talk show host. She won an Oscar, right? For what? For The Color Purple, didn't she? I don't, I don't know, know why you're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> you know Oprah Winfrey can act? I yeah, didn't... she was in um, Zoolander. That's not acting. She also wasn't in. She wasn't in Zoolander. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. I was just trying to get really dumb. Right, let's, let's, let's she continue. was in Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> she was dumb. <laughs> um. Oh, there was another thing about books. Oh, are audiobooks? Would you consider listening to an audiobook reading? Like, would you be like, oh, I read that? Yes, a hundred percent. It's just a different voice in your head. Wait, say that again. Would, would you, you consider if you if you listen to the audiobook <laughs> version of a book? Would you consider that that I read yes. the book? A hundred percent. Really? Yes. You get all the exact same information just in a different way. No, get... I understand. Like in passing, yes. I'd be like, oh yeah, I read that. But in my mind, I'm like, but I, I didn't. listened. <laughs> yeah, but you, oh my God, you have the ideas transmitted from the author's head to your head. That's what matters. Uh, no, I agree with that. It's a, Yes, it is a blind way of experiencing a book, but you did it's experience, like you listened to it, you took it in. And a person can have a conversation yeah. with you. Uh, right. But you didn't read But you it. can be in a book club with everyone else who's reading and you audiobook it. You are just as caught up as they are. So yeah. then I would consider that you are consuming the book. Cons yeah. You're not reading it, though. Like, people will be like, okay. oh, I read this. Uh, but you didn't. I would, yeah, I would say, oh, I listened to that. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think there's any, sh is there shame in saying that I listen to it? No. No, but not I at read, all. But I'll get an audiobook and I read the book and then I'll listen to it. I read it. I read yeah. I listen to it. I, read I it. wish Audible because I had. Can't, because I can't read when I'm driving. Mm -hmm. So when I'm driving, oh. I pick up where I'm at so I can make more progress. And then when I get back down, I'm like, all right, well, I listened to that. Now I'm going to read this. I think reading, like it actually reading is a little bit, it's like different in your brain too, because you have to like focus and like, see the words and have imagination else while you're you reading. can't it's do being anything else at, everything's being yeah if you do an you, audiobook you can be like it. doing dishes and doing other things which is nothing wrong with that but i just think it's different not in it's a like good or bad way to a podcast uh-huh yeah yeah i love audiobooks i love audible have you ever had one where the like author has made it so terrible or like the narrator I, well, I do the preview and if the voice sucks oh. i'm like nope some you can tell her like ai or it's not like it's like a robot oh. voice. no I, I don't know i listened to tomorrow tomorrow and tomorrow and i hated it i was like get i can't listen to it but do donna tart reading the secret history is <laughs> so good someone and did when, comment on our i think it's our patreon they were like i read this and it, it was like i could not put it down I it's on listen, my list i listen to it now like when i go to bed every night i'm really every night <laughs> I'm re-listening to it because I, unless, whenever she does Henry's voice, I don't like it. But oh my God, Donna Tart, 1992. She's 29 years old, just reading that book with her little Mississippi accent. <laughs> God, I love you, Donna Tart. I really do. Oh. I hope you put out a new. Did you book. see that she emailed us? 
What? Bullshit. <laughs> Do you know what her uh, email address is? She's due for a new book, though. She Bullshit. only writes a book every 10 years. That's like how often Lazy. the Super Mario games come out. <laughs> Super uh, Mario. Super Mario games are only every... Eight, it's 1998 was the N64. Then 2008 was the... Galaxy. The Odyssey. Or no, Galaxy, Galaxy. And then 2018 was Odyssey. And then you wait until 2028 for the next Mario game. That makes sense. Do you think Donna Tart? what's her net worth? Uh, she blew it all on cocaine in the nineties. <laughs> I bet, I bet ten million. Really? Yeah. She's a, she's how a many Pulitzer books has she pro- written? Four. Oh. She wrote the Goldfinch, which they made into an Ansel Elgore movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she probably made bank off that. I think her book deals for the awards and the quality of what they're buying, it's like yeah. On the tart. She's a, lives a very, very private life. But some authors, like, I would never want to, like, Kurt Vonnegut, I have to read on paper. I can't listen to someone else do Kurt Vonnegut because his voice is so. So true. <laughs> yeah, Kurt. Oh, Curdy. Guys. How do you say D A T A? Data or data? Yeah. Well, data. one is data. plural, one is data. singular. Data. One oh, is plural, wait, one is singular. It is. Oh, like, data is plural. Mm-hmm. Oh, I did not know that. That's What's singular? Wait, no, no, no. Data, data, data is data. singular and data, data is plural. Oh, that kind of makes sense. What is a singular piece of data? Is yes. that the only time you would say it in yes. like that phrase? Yes. Data. That's a data point. Oh, okay. I always say data. Because you're stupid. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Women. You say that. So wait, I, is I, plaza I, I might... and plaza the Let's plural? No, yeah. I, I yeah. might be making this up. <laughs> I would look it up. I'm pretty sure data. If is... that's made up, that's like the most sense. I don't even know I've how to Google heard. it. Are data right. and data <laughs> <laughs> plural? I'm pretty sure data is plural and data is singular. Maybe I am the smart one. I've been mouth taping. Literally, it's this is so funny. The word oh datum is singular. Datum? Dumbass. You yeah. fucking dumbass. I- idiot. Read a fucking book. <laughs> you don't know shit. This guy Datum is the plural. Stuff. Datum is singular and data is plural. Haha. Ha. Who's saying datum? Because it usually isn't much. There's... Probably. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. But Maybe do you say datum? Data? <laughs> Shut datum. up. Maybe data. No datum at all. How do you uh, say, say P L A Z A? P L E A. P L A Z A, like at the and when you go down to the shopping center. P P L A Z A Plaza Plaza, not a plaza. That's no, what it's I say. Plaza. Eloise who lives at the Plaza Hotel. The Plaza Plaza. plaza. All right, I just want to see. Peter. Sorry, I was. Peter. <laughs> that was so funny plaza. when you did that in that episode. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Circle. Peter. Okay. Oh, this one actually came in a few times, and I thought it was interesting. I didn't know this was the great debate. But do we keep opened ketchup in the fridge or the pantry? I think it says refrigerate after opening. Yeah, I do the fridge. The yeah, fridge. I do the fridge. But I hate when ketchup, though, like goes like halfway down, and then now it's down at the label, and then you see the top dome <laughs> of the ketchup yeah, bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> you gotta, I always make sure to try and flip things upside down. So yeah. that the air is at the top, not at the bottom. And so that comes out easier. Yeah, I hate that's the worst when you have like cold ketchup and it's you see all like the little splotches in the neck of the bottle and you have to flip it over and w- yeah. just turn your bottle. Why every fucking bottle of sauce, the cap should be on the bottom. Yeah. Doug yeah. finally just made a soap that like like dish soap. That you just lift up and the thing is on the bottom. It's the best. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Iconic. It's so like Dove makes dish soap. Are you kidding me? Yeah, they or Dawn. Dawn, oh, sorry. Dove. Are you kidding me? Okay, okay. <laughs> We're all just gaslighters here today. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> We're having fun. It's a Wednesday. <laughs> it's a Thursday. Thursday. I know, I'm gaslighting you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, are vanity license plates douchey? Uh... <laughs> I think it depends. If you're doing it, like, ironically, the, yeah. then like no. Mine? Yeah. Is yours ironic? LOL Mike. LOL Mike? Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe you're like... No, I'm like, guys, no, I'm pretty yeah. funny. <laughs> That's like, kind of my thing. Like, if you were a comedian, I'd be like, okay. Yeah, yeah if I'm a stand-up comedian yes. and it says LOL Mike, that's cringe. Yeah, it's like if you're doing it seriously. <laughs> yeah. I know that's my exact thought. I was like, well, if it's funny, then no. But if it's like, 
Volleyball 2003. Uh, like, okay. Was it Wally? It's like Slim Thick. Probably. <laughs> slim Thick is funny. That, that's yeah. funny. Yeah, that's I funny. That's doing, not uh, cringy. Wait, really? R W A I T R O Y. Wait, really? I think it's kind of funny. Like, you just see someone else be like, wait, really? No. Now I want a vanity license plate. It's kind of fun. fun. Oh, but I feel like there's so much pressure because then if someone's like, oh, that's not good. Yeah. One it's time like, I walked up to gotta... my car with LOL Mike on it and there it was like outside of a party and these two girls were just pissing their pants laughing like <laughs> next to my car. And I was like, what's going on? And they're like, oh, this guy just has the funniest license plate. And I was like, LOL Mike. And they're like, yeah, like, oh, my God, I can't believe we're meeting you. I was like, are you guys okay? I'm like, no, we're on mushrooms. <laughs> okay, and we're just tricks. on mushrooms laughing at LOL Mike. And then I walked that up and their funny. minds exploded. They like couldn't believe that they met LOL Mike. And then they followed me home. It That's was insane. Funny. Oh, my God. It was insane. Someone in my neighborhood, they have um, a license plate and it says like best Baba, which I think is like grandfather Grandpa, or something. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. It's cute. There's one I always see in my neighborhood, and it's, I, I, it pisses me off because I can't understand it. What is so it? So it's S M, heart. Wait, I, I think I, I know just, this one. Was it like an actual heart? Yeah. Yes, S M heart. I think a Y, and then P I. Yeah, it's probably like Smarty Sam pie. Morris loves, you know, yeah. Yolanda Peterson. But the, what's the Y after the heart? She probably has three e. names. Because I'm always like Smoy Pie. You. <laughs> Like SM, like Samantha Morris. Murdoch. There's Love. one that used to be on the drive to your house that used to park on Moore Park, but it's not there anymore. It was a pink car and it just said, I'm gay. <laughs> That's iconic. Whoa. Yeah, I like that one. That was, it's, okay, when you get to the website where you type in, yeah, it tells plate, you. It, so you can sit there all day and be like, That's oh, how oh. I got to LL Mike. Okay, it's easy to get to that site yes, or do you yes. have to go through a few like. I mean, you have to go through like a step or two, but you don't, it's, you can, you can check it pretty Ooh, easily. I, I want to do that today. <laughs> What are you going to get? I don't know. Just start testing it out. I was thinking about, because I don't have LL Mike anymore, maybe like Mazel Tov. I bet someone has Yeah. That. I want. I got to come up with another funny one. Should I do LOL Matt? That would be sick. We all have LOL our names. <laughs> LOL Aaron could fit, but you have you have too many letters. Carl. I do. Carl. Yeah. LOL Carl. <laughs> or just C-R-L-Y. Yeah. LOL, wow. Carly. LOL Matt, LOL Mike, LOL Aaron. Can you do it? Come on. I don't want Aaron getting targeted. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. What about me? <laughs> my my theory for it. getting LOL Mike too was like, if a cop ever pulls me over, he like wouldn't pull me over because he'd be like giggling at the license plate. He's like, oh, he's fine. We're not gonna pull him over. He you should just say LOL a cab. <laughs> oh my god! Imagine, uh, I heart cops. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never get pulled over. Well, Matt has that Blue Lives Matter sticker on his truck, so you know. Yeah, yeah. Over. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Someone said, this is very specific. Do you believe it's acceptable to live at your parents' house if you have a job and can support yourself? Depends on the situation. Yeah. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Yeah. I'm like, I mean, unless you're like 40. I think it's yeah. a very American well, culture thing to be like, get out of your house at 18, yeah. be on your own. Like in Europe and stuff, people live yeah. with their parents. Like till they're yeah, they're 30. like not my baby leaving. Just yeah. be prepared for when the argument cut or like the disc comes. Yeah, well, you still live with your parents. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like okay, yeah. well, I have I'm two saving money. Parents that love yeah. me and yeah. give me a place to live. Oh, yeah. I know. I just think it'd be a lot to like literally live with your parents since you were born <laughs> until you're in your 30s. That sounds like well, such a long time. I don't know if it's necessary. Like till like maybe they went to college and then moved back in and like have a job. Yeah. I I know, but I just mean like you're up. Oh oh oh. Dude, I know I like that. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Are Matt you going on a are... hike after this? No. No. Matt and I are putting our feet together under the table. It feels good. Like stretch. Um <laughs> You you know what? No. Go live your best damn life. Collect your money. Save it. If you want to live in with you with your parents, I don't care. Just do it. Treat them with kindness. Take care of them. Clean after yourself. Have a bit of humility that you still live with your parents, but you know, I just what if you it's, times are tough out there right now for people. So for me to pass judgment onto that, I ain't doing it. What if you started dating someone and they're like, "By the way, I live at home." How cool my is parents. their house? <laughs> <laughs> How dope is it? Yes, it's the like, kitchen it's so, is the kitchen bad? <laughs> if, yeah, if it's like nasty, are they and like you're yeah. still in like the garage. Oh yeah, there was like a girl I was kind of interested in. She was lived in the garage of her parents' house with like her two other sisters. How old was she? Oh, 
like 24, 23. And the parents were hoarders, mm -hmm. right? Yes, yeah, so, so much fine. shit. I was like, God, there's like about to be like a game of mousetrap that's gonna fall on me. Um, I was like a little like, this is my, this is like, I think you could move out of your parents' house if it doesn't seem like they're taking up their parents' space. If that makes sense. Yeah. But dude, I can't breathe out there. Why? I don't know. My allergies are starting. starting to kick oh, like, in. yeah. That's. I think that might be why I'm feeling weird. My allergies are acting up. <laughs> Gotta take that Zyrtec. Yep. Can art be separated from the artist? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Must be. Sometimes. I, I think mean, it depends for the on most part. the situation. Hitler loves paintings. <laughs> <laughs> He's a painter. That's his whole thing. I did not know that. He uh he was trying to be a painter and then he applied to art school in Germany. But his paintings aren't that good. No, they're fucking horrific. They're not good. But he got rejected from art school. And that's when he fucking went, went nuts. crazy. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. And they did this like Steve Martin, the comedian, is like a really big uh, painting collector and like very into the art world and knows all paintings. And he's like, whatever. That's what he's been doing since he made money in the 70s. And Stephen Colbert one time showed him one of Hitler's pictures to like without letting him know what it was. And he was like, I don't like this. This is just like gives me weird vibes and I don't think oh it's my that God. good. And he was like, wow, you really do have good taste because this is one of Hitler's paintings. Damn. Whoa. Steve Martin like called it out. Yeah. They weren't good. I think if you're at a Cheesecake Factory and Michael Jackson starts playing and you go up and say, you need to change this. Oh, that's. Well, what, at what year? Because Michael Jackson pre like 1990, I think is still fair game. Right. What? Like song pre wise? before. <laughs> like, yeah. Pre before the accus. I mean, I don't. I will listen to Michael Jackson. It's just like it, you can't avoid it. <laughs> like it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. R. Kelly. Th that seems a little excessive because the songs are about that. Yeah. Like he's yes. literally talking about like what about Kevin Spacey movies. Uh, wouldn't know what he's in. So they're a yeah, you do. I love American. Do I cards? Well, yeah, I knew that. It's oh, a we said movies. Tough to I don't watch, know. Like someone who's done something. Yeah, so yeah. I agree with that. Like <sighs> Chris Brown. Seventh... Too... No, Chris Brown should not have a career. But There's... then it's like, but Michael Jackson. But did Michael Jackson do it? But yeah, Michael I don't Jackson's know. music is so much better than Chris <laughs> yeah, Brown's. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> if you make, like he's an if you icon. make Michael Jackson level music, there is some like, sort go of... go ahead, yeah. Well, not go ahead. I also think... <laughs> no, like, listen. No, like, yeah. Go yeah. ahead, Explain listen children. to it. I meant listen to it. Go ahead, listen to it. <laughs> Chris Brown, I cannot believe that there are women in America that go to his concerts I, and I listen know. to it. It is I know. beyond that crazy. he has a career. It's there are crazy. photos of Rihanna should be published at every the fucking opening door of every one of his shows. I yep. know. It's, it's crazy though because like sh I think she's fine with him. Look. So then I think I have nothing the to say to other her, people but... are like, "Oh, it's fine." Yeah. It is insane. But apparently to he's me. done it many more yeah. times yeah. since. Yeah. So yeah. it's yeah. like he just like keeps getting arrested thing. for it. He's like on festival bills. Like it's That's crazy. crazy. I, like when I see a girl who's like twenty something post on her Instagram story, the Chris Brown show. Like, who are you following that's going to Chris Brown shows? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it just blows my mind. Yeah. I can't. Under and the songs are not good enough to, to warrant that. Yeah. It's <laughs> also like I feel like because <clears throat> in tight. It's always music. It's always people like you're not allowed to listen to this anymore. Well, there's movies like Woody Allen movies. Sure. But those ones are also similar. That guy knows how to make a fucking movie. Though. I love Woody Allen movies. I know. I know. Aren't his movies too, though, mostly about like there's older a few, men? There's a few where there's... like, yeah, he's dealing with his yeah. attraction to like a much younger girl too. But it's but, not. Like, also, his Lolita is a really weird movie about that. Yeah. But, but it's... that's also art. Like people make art about things that are. That are taboo. Yeah. And pushing the boundaries and stuff. It's also, comedians you're supposed to romanticize it. It's yeah. supposed to make you feel uncomfortable. Can you can you still watch? A but Chris I think it's Delia just special? creepy when people who actually are that thing make it. I think it's... I think it's easiest to separate the artist from the art from the artist when it is a movie, like a director or a musician. Like that's easier. But if you're like a comedian, and then it's so like it's like it's, it's like you. so much more. The art yeah. is who they are. Totally. But like yeah. Woody Allen directs a movie with Scarlett Johansson and Joaquin Phoenix. Like you don't even know he's like yeah. It connected. could be someone. So it feels easier. Yeah. But to go and watch Chris D'Elia stand up now, you're like, well, that's the guy. I know. Well, I don't even really know what he did, but we don't need to get into it. But I'll look it up later. He did something bad, right? 
He's canceled now. Chris D'Elia was canceled. Yeah, it was now. like a few years ago. I yeah. feel like it's like in spurts or like something's bad yeah. and then he's fine and then something's bad again. Well, some comedian like made a documentary about him recently. Really? Had like real like Can audios. Yeah, it's what? on YouTube. I did see one clip where it was like Chris D'Elia realizes that you can take screenshots on Snapchat. Yes. yes. And he's just like. On well, the fighter those, and the kid. Those, those, he's like. What? On, he's on the fighter and the kid podcast. Oh. It was never like underage people, was it? I don't think so. Um, I can't remember. I think one of them was like 17. That's but she right, nev- That's right. That's right. But she yeah. like didn't say she was yeah. until. But like then there was a whole thing where it was like, well, he should have known because of this. I don't know. I feel yeah. like it's. I don't know the whole story. How are you with Kanye right now? Mm, I think Jews should be the only one who are allowed to listen to his music. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually hilarious. That's like, fair. Bar mitzvahs, let it rip. Okay. But, uh, no, I. I was never a huge fan of his, but like, I guess it it is a little weird. I think it's just too soon. Yeah. Like when I hear Kanye at a place, I'm like, guys, really? Yeah. Like this just happened. And yeah. a few years from now, if he calms down and doesn't say any more crazy shit, I'm sure he'll be back on like whatever. I'm a listener. I'm not well, a he follower. likes you guys again because Jonah Hill. Oh, true. So maybe we've just made amends. I think you're good. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys are good. It, it it was like during that time period specifically, though, like. And it's still you'll see like interviews of Kanye West and all the comments are, like he's just misunderstood. He's just misunderstood. Give I'm like fucking break. Being a Nazi is not yeah. a misunderstanding. Like you clearly have stated I am a Nazi. I like yeah. Hitler. I don't like Jews. There's no misunderstanding. Yeah. So to hear like if you go to a restaurant, and you hear like one of his songs it's a little unnerving but i think most people don't pay attention like it's probably just on a playlist or something and like you can't remove it whatever um it was weird to see on instagram how many people follow him on instagram that i am friends with that did not unfollow him when he was doing all that shit it's like strange there's it's like a hundred people that i follow still follow kanye west jews included and they're still liking his they were like liking his post i know too, which like sometimes i'm like are you on like an auto like thing no <laughs> are you some people really can just, i think some people can just like l- they don't they're not as dialed in and they kind of just look past the things that they don't want to see Eh, he's saying some weird stuff about jews but like i still love stronger and they just like <laughs> they like just look that pa- song specifically <laughs> I'm just saying, like people, yeah. people just can look past the, the mental gymnastics of uh, Americans, or yeah, people could just do it somehow. People voted for Donald Trump twice. I blow my nose. Third time, it's coming. <laughs> Did he? Is he running? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so I know Biden just said for sure he's winning. Or yeah, running. he's been like go like doing um on the Nelk Boys podcast. On the what? Nelk Boys podcast. He was on it again. Trump like mm-hmm. I hope I hope this uh, trial that he's going to is gonna put an end to it. I don't think he would win either way. Mm. I think a lot of people who supported him no longer do, and it's just like the people who are fully still like crazy like, psychos yeah. in the cults, yeah, like literally worshiping. I saw this interview, and this girl was like, "Trump reminds me of my dad," and he, I actually gave him a hug, and it felt like my dad hugging me. I was like, "Girl, what? seek treatment." Like that is just a random man. <laughs> oh my Come on, God. Uh, it's really sad that like a grown ass adult talking like a three year old. Mm. I love. I like how Trump drinks his waters. He goes like this. Hold on. Does he? <laughs> is he really like a baby? But yeah. like a he bottle. Always, he can't drink with one hand. If you there's like compilations of him where he, he'll pick up the water and then go. <laughs> he's like and unintentionally funny. He's, it, it's so annoying he's, that he's so funny. He's the funniest motherfucker he's in the world. So funny. if you go back and watch those debates with like Hillary from 2015, <laughs> yeah, but God. not knowing that like you know as bad as he was, yes. we're all still alive. But he was a fucking nightmare. But it was scary back then because he's just like a fucking psycho. But now in hindsight, the like funniest... even even like the, the little press release things he does on his oh, like his website, all like, caps press <laughs> releases. Funny. I know they're like they're not funny. supposed to be funny, but they're just funny. They're yeah. so yeah. bad. And... Or when he wishes like Happy Easter, including to the witch hunt yeah. liberals. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's very all he the like, losers and haters. He gives yeah. James Kennedy. Yeah, like him and James Kennedy yes. are like the same. Yeah. You wouldn't understand, but he's like including a very... the yeah. witches and the 
Yeah. That, like, he'll be like, yeah, happy happy uh, Hanukkah, including to the looter, losers and haters in the Democratic Party that are doing <laughs> an illegal witch hunt. Uh, it is so like, funny. He's just like deranged. Yeah. He's like, doesn't know what to say. He's very funny. Uh, hate him. But... Oh, and when he's just, yeah, in those debates, there was one debate where, where it was like Hillary and him and then a moderator. And he was trying to say something and Hillary was like, we'll see. And he goes, the moderator goes, yes, can you please let her speak? And he goes, three on one. Like, <laughs> like as if the moderator and Hillary were both on his, and it, it, he just like has these little quips. Yeah, so funny. There's a Whoa. compilation called "Can't Stump the Trump" on YouTube. Okay, it's just like it's like a fan edit of like him just being as funny as humanly possible. It's worth watching. I wish he was a, a good guy. I, I know because it would be so funny. I would love for him to come out and be like, "Abortions for everybody." Yeah, <laughs> gay rights. He just changes his mind gay completely. Rights. Because he was a fucking Democrat in the nineties. I know. There's like, I think he just lost his. Well, mind he's also a bit. just like a liar. Like he's yeah. like, oh, the Christian way, and it's like, yeah. buddy, you're not even. Yeah. If Donald Trump came out as the Democrat, who would we would have to vote for? Would you? Vote Damn. For him? No. Versus, well, who's the opponent? DeSantis. I would vote for Trump over DeSantis. Okay. Trump 24. Well, who, would, who would be the... Repu- okay, say it's not DeSantis. Who would be, like, the Republican candidate? Uh, if it was, like, I don't know, uh, Mitt Romney, oh, Marco Rubio. Well, I would vote for Mitt Romney over Trump. Why yeah. does nobody vote for Marco Rubio? Well, he's a little fucking beta cuck, too. I don't think he's... Pro- I know. I, com- I disagree Although with his politics, but I think he's, like... does donate to the NRA. They're all... I mean, yeah, they they're probably all, all do. But he's, like... Mitt Romney? High up there. What's wrong with the NRA? <laughs> God, <laughs> what qualifies a good s'more? Burnt or golden? Burnt is but yeah, I'm golden. I like burnt? my, I like my, I like burnt things Don't anyway. S- like who actually gets a fucking perfect uh golden? Oh, I do. I yeah. literally sit there for like ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, and if can't. it burns up, are you like, oh, well, it was good enough? Because no, it doesn't burn up. I do it. I do it perfectly to the way I, I, like, I like it. A, I like a nice. Yeah, you my cousin is a good. Uh, you'd be a good. I, will, I like make them for people. Yeah, like, I can let me see do you it. being very accommodating with the s'mores. I have a lot of patience, mm. and it's like an art. I wish we could normalize like making s'mores more often. It's always <laughs> such, like, such an occasion. Like, oh, we got s'mores. Like, it's like once, <laughs> you like, can twice do them in a your year. Oven. But just like, hey, like we do them more often. Like, why aren't we making s'mores at like your in your backyard at like, my pool parties? Yeah. I need a fire pit. Yeah, it's such a fire pit thing. Yeah, yeah. You get like a. Oh, yes, you need a fire pit. I do love my marshmallow you can do it on in fire. The oven. No, but he's saying like at a pool party when it's no, like I know, 5 I know, I know. sun's going down. Like, but you if you don't have portable, a fire pit? like little like a grill? candle things. I had one and then it disappeared. <laughs> I like the... Oh, I stole it. You stole it? No. <laughs> I think I got robbed is what happened. But yeah, uh, so yeah, golden brattle, burnt, just living my life, really. Yum. <laughs> um, if you had to get rid of one race in America. <laughs> oh my God. White, white. Yeah. There we no, go. I'm probably, I would say, like, uh, no, the Daytona 500. Hey, that's good. Have you Mario ever been, have you ever Kart. Been to Daytona, Florida. I want to. Oh my God, it is Daytona. a. That's a dark place. I want to go to the Daytona 500 and like get an RV and stand in the middle and be like, I really like, we... don't get those. The race. At all. I've like been to them and I'm like, what? Oh, I've never like really been to one. My friend in elementary school, her dad was. I think he was like semi professional or something and he died. He died? <gasps> Doing ra- a race. Like his it's car. Just like, huh? You just go in a circle for like an hour? Yeah, it is a little silly. How Seems boring. really stupid. And you have to watch it? <laughs> I guess I when you're there, it's love crazy love though. Like I've them been. Like, fix- oh, you've been? Yeah. Well, probably not to like a big one, but yeah. like to a race. I'm just like, okay. What's the most, ex- what's the best sporting event to go to live? Football. I like hockey because they fight. Oh yeah, I think it's funny. Have you been to many hockey games? Um, a good amount, yeah. The Nebraska Tornadoes or whatever mm-hmm. they're called. <laughs> yeah, uh, the college in Omaha. We would oh, like wow. my friends and I. We would, would like every Friday night, so we would just like go. And we wouldn't go every Friday, but they, they would, would have play them. every Friday. Yeah, so we'd be like, let's just go to the game. Wow, it was, like fun little chill. Beat up. I don't know what the best other. sporting event there is. In What's the world? your favorite? If I said you can have a ticket to NFL, NBA, baseball. <gasps> Sock, hockey, soccer. Get good whatever. seats. Yeah, probably best the seats. Su- yeah, probably the Super Bowl. <laughs> no, not the Super Bowl. A regular season. Like just game. Football. So football. Oh, football's probably the most exciting. Football's to watch. the best. Football, really? yeah, football yeah. for sure. 
That to me seems just above baseball. College it's most football. College you... football is the best. It's such a slow moving game. What? Football is like watching. For me, when I watch football, it's like watching chess. <laughs> It's okay, fun. you have time to you make think a move and stuff. for 10 seconds, and now we're gonna wait yeah, five minutes to the next move. Constantly, no, you don't wait. They're constantly making moves. No, but like, I would, NBA is the best sport to go see live. It's too fast. Too fast for me. It's yeah. just like, too move, fast. Yeah, yeah, you like say like one thing, fucking... and then you're like, wait, what happened? Yeah, yeah that's why it's 100 points that was scored. Yeah. It's like, no. that's why it's so exciting. Too fast. Too fast. Like make dribble. the court it's bigger. It's only exciting if it's a close game and there's like two minutes left. I don't like any sports. I I like going to all. I like going to baseball games because I understand the sport. I don't know if you could pay me to go to. But a baseball I used to go game. to the College World Series because I was in Omaha too with my dad mm. like every summer. So I feel like that's why they just made a bunch of rule changes to baseball. Do you see that? What? No, what? Um, that you can like run to any base you want to. Okay, shut, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna run home. Whoop! I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> no, they they did. Uh, I think there's like a new rule that you have to hit the. You have to. Uh, they just like added a time limit somewhere where like people were taking forever to do something and they added like a 14 second timer hmm. to speed up the game because the games are going like longer than three hours because they have all these rituals that they do i think that's so fascinating like fixing a rule and like yeah. pitching it hey guys is this okay <laughs> just a thought if we shave down the time here the we could clock. save over an hour a year. okay it says the new rule oh you looked it up i saw it on conan's podcast Oh. The time at the time a pitch is thrown, all four infielders are required to be on the infield dirt, with two on each side of second base. What? <laughs> All right, we're losing steam here. I think we can wrap it up. <laughs> this is very weird. I really can't breathe. Oh, there, okay. There's a pitch clock. That's the that's one that, what it is. Pitchers will have 15 seconds to throw a pitch yep. with the bases empty. Yep. And 20 seconds with a runner on base. Because yeah, they do take they a were long taking, like, they would time. They would like refit their glove, take yeah. it off, do this, like do yeah, their it's little like a bit of like a shot sp- clock. Yes, yeah, it's yes. something to. That was a new NBA change too. There used to be 24 seconds. second shot clock, and then if you got a rebound, it would reset. So you got another 24 seconds, but they the second rebound now is 14 seconds. So you shave 10 seconds off. A rebound. Honestly, thank God, <laughs> baseball games are way too fucking long. I know. Yeah, they're it's your whole out. day. Yeah. I just like watching it, like a stage. Yeah, it's like fun to just see a game, pretty, and it's like when you're, you're there. not really actively following it the whole time. It's yeah. Just like, yeah. Oh crap! And everyone's like, oh. yeah. Like it's just like I'm always so scared I'm gonna get hit with a ball. In yeah. the state. Like I'm always like it's gonna hit me in the face. I'm gonna I only went die. to one baseball game in my whole life. <gasps> what? what? Yankees? Mets? No, it was here. It was with Alex Ernst for a. CQ oh, you deal. went? Did you go to the Dodgers? Probably, yeah. Or Angels is that a game yep. team here? Yeah, I think that's what it was. And he wore Anaheim. like angel Anaheim. wings. It was like for a video. <laughs> that's funny. We were, oh. And we thank God we only left after like an hour. I was like, this is the most oh. boring. I can just like smell like baseball. I just like can smell it. And it's I think just the like a seats, summer. The seats were just like benches. There weren't even backs on the seats. Really? I don't, I don't know. I've never it. been to Angel Stadium. Hmm. I went to Dodger Stadium for the first time recently. It's enormous. It's so big. It's huge. Yeah, just going to a game like that and then having to park. Yeah, you it's know, a, bit it's a, a lot. Bit of a, a schlep. All right, well, that, that, that'll, that'll do it. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching today's episode of Good Influences. Want to give a thanks to our sponsors. Uh, thanks to the Academy, all our directors, the producers. Epoch Times. The Epoch Times? Yeah. What's that? What? It's like that propaganda magazine. Like There's the, a propaganda magazine? Yes, that like they started sending to like all these old people. I think it was like a Chinese propaganda. They started sending it to all these old people during the election. I've heard about this. Someone subscribed me to it. <laughs> so you get them? No, I just got it. But like oh. this is it's been around since like before the Biden Trump thing. And they Dang. just send out like all these and like, it's all fake? crazy misinformation. Well, yeah. thanks to the Epic Times for sponsoring <laughs> us. Epic and, Times. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe you don't thanks know. Thanks to the Epic Times. No. I've never heard of it either. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. bye.